MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events and special offers via Video Media. The Breton machine is a very premium, high-end, five-axis machine in centre. What makes it that, Daniel? The history of Breton and the way that they build their machines has come from 60 years of innovation in the tooling stone industry. Those techniques that they build these machines are inherent in their machine tools. Uh, all, all axis ways on these machines are protected by air. All components that are used in these machines are the extremely high-end product. Breton has a patented um, feature inside the machine called metal quartz, and that is used in the shoulders and the ram of this machine. It is used for dampening characteristics for the cut and the harmonics. Most of the components on these machines are built by Breton in-house. That it translates into a super accurate machine. And we talk about super accurate. Is there a way, a way of quantifying that? What can you achieve or what would you be making or trying to machine to tolerance-wise, for example? Well, it certainly depends on the characteristics of the material and what have you. But, for instance, in the Blisk area of ink canal machining, um, we can advertise in four meters of four ten thousandths of an inch. That, that, that's pretty impressive, that's pretty impressive. And that is, as an example, is what you're doing here. It's like a Blisk this machining. Is a blisk. And is this for a, a particular customer or is it just a demo that you're doing here at this show? Uh, a lot of the uh, work that we do is very proprietary to the manu manufacturers we work with. So this is just a demonstration of the capabilities of a machine this large and the accuracy for doing a Blisk. Okay, on the specification of the machine, what about the speed of it? How fast is it? Uh, well, this machine can go up to, about, I believe, three meters per minute, and um, it has a HSK 100 spindle, very high horsepower spindle in it. And what is the spindle speed, or can you, option-wise, what can you have? Uh, generally speaking, HSK 100 is limited uh, by the manufacturer to 16,000. Uh, generally, we put our HSK 100 spindles at 14,000 RPM. Right, and, and this is a pretty big table on here. What sort of weight can it handle? This particular one can handle, I believe, uh, a ton, one ton, this particular one. Yeah. Really, that, that's impressive. And the, the construction of the machine, obviously the, the x-axis is moving on the column. Do you believe that gives you a little bit more rigidity in the machining process? Well, absolutely. This is, uh, this is the process that we use on all of our machines, except for one of the portal machines that we design. But they're all called overhead bridge machines. So um, we use very high, uh, high accuracy and very strong linear rails for our machines, plus uh, the very accurate ball screws that we use. And, and what about the base of the machine? Is it a one-piece casting? It is. It's, it's a, a electro-welded and normalized basement of the machine is what we call it, filled with metal quartz also. Okay, and the access is pretty good here, and also it's got a pretty large swarf conveyor as well, which I... I assume when you're machining lots of material, you need to get it out as well. Absolutely. Uh, with, with the type of spindle that's in this machine, we can do heavy, heavy material removal. So it's not a problem. To, uh, we, we have to evacuate this working envelope as good as possible. And is this one of many five-axis machines within the Breton range? Well, we have two machines of this style. Uh, one is called uh, the Altrix, which is this machine here. And if you look behind you, you can see that it has a turning a turning mechanism that comes down. So we can put a blank on this machine, turn it, and then finish full five axis machine. And so uh, we also have another machine called the Exceder that has uh, the same capabilities without the turning. But we also can put grinding attachments on these machines. So Daniel, to summarize then, uh, who's gonna buy this type of machine? Uh, the people that require these tolerances of today's world. In all business, to tolerances are becoming tighter and tighter. New material specifications are coming on that mandate even in the composite world of extremely close tolerances. Um, so uh, who's, who's going to buy them? I believe that uh, the requirements for super accuracy are going to continue to uh, ev evolve as technology does. Very impressive. Thanks for your time, Daniel. Thank you very much. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.